Peace Dragomama. And do you know what month it is? It's February. And what holiday do we celebrate in February? Valentine's Day. And I would like to wish you a happy Valentine's Day using my chow chart. I have a chow chart. And did you know that chow in Italian means hello and goodbye? Here's how you can say hello. Red heart for a hug. Orange hand for a wave. Yellow hand for a high five. Pink hand for a fist bump. Blue hands for a handshake. And a purple hello. Hello. Since it's Valentine's Day, I thought it would be a good idea to choose a heart for a hug. Have you ever celebrated Valentine's Day before? Valentine's Day is a holiday where you show someone that you love them. You can make them a card, draw them a picture, send them some chocolate or jewelry or gifts, anything you want. It's a nice way to say, I love you and appreciate them. I have a Valentine right here from my friend Chris. It says, Happy Valentine's Day, your friend Chris. Thanks, Chris. Valentine's Day reminds me of a group of silly, spooky characters that came face to face with the holiday for the first time ever. Let me get this book out. It's called Valentine's by Ethan Long. Have you ever read this before? I'll get my felt board out and show you who these silly characters are. So, in the book, we have Vlad, a vampire, spooky, a mummy, a bat, and a spooky ghost. Why don't we all read the book together and meet all these spooky characters? Valenstein's by Ethan Long It was a cold, dark night, perfect for scaring. But Fran had something else on his mind. Of course, Vladimir had to know what Fran was up to. What are you making, Fran? Um, hmm, pink paper, scissors, glue. Are you making a mask with fangs? Yes. It looks like a little rounded bat to me. No, it's a big pink nose. It looks like a paper butt. Bunny knew what was going on. This is a heart, everyone. When you love someone, you cut one of these out and give it to them on Valentine's Day. Sandy checked the calendar. Do you think Fran is in love? Eek! Wait, what's love? It sounds gross. That's when two people feel all mushy mushy about each other. Ew! Mushy mushy? And then when they get more in love, they flutter their eyes at each other. Ooh, flutter like bats? No, probably more like butterflies. Don't drag me into this. But here's the crazy part. 
when they get really, really in love, they... they... They what? They kiss on the lips! Ew! I'm never falling in love. Love is so yucky. Not just yucky, it's terrifying. Love makes my skin crawl. Um, you don't have any skin. Yeah, she's right. At this point, Fran had heard enough. So he went outside to get some fresh air. And that's when he was reminded that love isn't about being mushy-mushy or fluttering your eyes or kissing someone on the lips. And it certainly isn't about cutting out paper hearts. Tee-hee! It looks like a paper butt! It's about something you feel in your real heart, even if it does feel a little funny sometimes. What are they doing? They're talking and staring at the moon. Weirdos. Wasn't that great? I'm so glad that Fran got to make his valentine and give it to his friend. He really showed her how much he cared about her. And who knows, maybe next year, all the other members of the Fright Club will make valentines for the people that they care about too. You know, Every time I read a really good book, I like to think of a game or a craft or a song that goes with the book to make it an event. And I thought a good game for this book would be something kind of like musical chairs. Have you ever played musical chairs before? Here's how I made it different to go along with this book. Let's say goodbye to our friends. Bye, Vlad. Goodbye, Mummy. Goodbye, Bat. Goodbye, Ghost. I have felt hearts in a couple different colors. <clears throat> and here's how you play. Find some music and then get a group of friends or just your family and then put out hearts in a circle minus one number. So if you have five members of your family, you wanna put four hearts. Then press play on the music. And as you walk along the hearts, somebody will press stop. And whoever doesn't stand on a heart has to do a little motion. Here is my musical hearts chart I made. And it has things like jump, hop on one foot, tree pose, balance a heart on your head. You can come up with your own or you can look up some with your grown up. It's a really fun game to play. Why don't we go play with our friends at the library? the music and when the music is playing everybody move in a circle from heart to heart and then uh, when the music stops you gotta hop on the heart that's closest to you and whoever is not on a heart will um, have to do a movement okay all right I'll show you I'll show you this is gonna be a little bit different than regular all right ready gonna stop, I don't know. Oh! Alright, who is on a heart? Who's not on a heart? Who? Oh, you're not on a heart? Okay. No, Scout's not 
I know. Oh, do you want to go over and get that heart? That's mine. All right. Scout, I need you to pick red, white, or pink. Pink red. Um, red love. White. Okay, everybody that's standing on a white heart, come into the middle. If you're standing on a white heart, come into the middle. Okay, ready? The first is jump. You guys jump up and down. Can I do it too? No, only if you're in the middle, sorry. Good job. All right, now get back to your hearts and we're get ready to walk. Ready? Go. No rush, no rush. Who's not on a heart? Max, are you on, are you on a heart? Oh, David, you get to choose. Choose red, choose red. Red, white, red. Red. What? Everybody on a red heart, come into the middle. Everybody in the middle, hop on one foot. I want to do it too. Whoa, sorry, you have to wait till you're in the middle. All right, back to your hearts, back to your hearts. Ready? Oh, no, I'm in the middle, right? Uh, oh no, no, you're out of the middle. Oh. Once we do the action, then you can go back to our heart. Here we go, ready? Go, oh. just go around, just go around. Do you guys want to both choose? Cindy, okay, yeah, you yeah. choose one color and you choose one color. Um, pink. Oh, come on. Parker. Parker. Yes, I'm on a pink color. Red. Pink and red, come in the middle. Yeah. Pink and red into the middle. Yeah. Okay, this is gonna be pretty hard. Everybody in the middle, do tree pose. Tree pose. You're See if you can do it. It's okay, she doesn't have to do it if she doesn't want to. Can you do it? Whoa! All right, everybody back on their hearts, quick! The music's about to start! Ready? Oh, I know, yeah. Pink, 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 red, or white? I'm not on a heart. I'm on a heart. Pink, red, or white? White, Pink, everybody, pink. Come in the middle if you're on a pink. Okay, twirl around. Twirl around. You can do it if you want. Good twirling. Okay, quick back to the hearts. Ready? Go. Pink, red, or white? White. Okay, all the people in the white hearts. Ah! Come into the middle. And, oh, grab a heart from the edge. Grab your white hearts. Okay, bring them to the middle. And try and balance them on your head. You thought they were going to stay on the floor, but they're not. Okay. Oh, pointing something people have stepped all over on your heads. <laughs> you don't have to, you don't want to. Who's going to win this? Okay, now you have to be on one foot. Oh my, oh my, now you have to hop on one foot. Oh, oh, we have a winner! It's okay, you did a great job. All right, let's bring these right back to the outside and we'll do it a couple more times, okay? Ready? You don't have to, you can sit down if you don't want. Ready, go! Don't yell, please. All right. 
All right, this time everybody in the middle. I'm not on the This time everybody in the middle. And we're gonna do, the last one is, give yourself a hug. Aww. Doesn't it feel good to give yourself a hug? Let's give ourselves a hug together. You know, even though Valentine's Day is a nice time to show other people love, it's just as important to show yourself some love too. Why don't we give another hug to ourselves? Go! And then I thought another game that would be fun to play is called Hot Potato. But my hot potato has a heart on it, so I like to call it heart potato. Do you know how to play hot potato or heart potato? Here's what you do. Everybody sits in a circle and pass around the heart potato. If you don't have one, you can use a ball or a toy or a pillow, whatever you have around the house. And then when the music stops, whoever's holding the hot potato is out. Then, as you go, when there's only two people left, the last person with the hot potato, then the other person is the winner. And that's how you play the game. Should we go and see how you play it down at the library with our friends? We've got to find a winner. Who's Mark, gonna be the winner? Are you ready? Stops whoever has it. Okay. <laughs> It's okay. Scout. Let's see who's next. No, she's Scout, do you want to sit? Scout, do you want to sit in the middle or out on a chair? It's up to you. Oh my God, she's not in, the middle. in the middle. Okay. Please sit I down. Know. Let's play it again. Let's play it again. She seriously did when the music. Why don't Why don't we see what happens next? Why don't we see what happens next, Zoe? Okay. All right. Sit down, please. Ready, guys? Who has the heart potato? Everybody, scooching close around Scout. Ready? <laughs> It's getting tight in the middle here. Uh, how are you guys going to pass this heart potato? All right, ready? Oh, Maxie! Maxie! We can play another round. We'll play another round. Don't worry. Do you want to sit outside of the circle or inside of the circle? But inside of the circle is getting pretty squishy. Oh my gosh. What the? All right, ready? person circle this time. Yeah. Alright, ready? Go! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Huck, do you want to sit in the group or do you want to sit in a chair? Alright, who's it going to be? Zoe or David? Who's it going to be? Ready? Go! It got a little crazy when our circle got so small and everyone was sitting on top of each other. And you know what? Even though David was the winner in our game, anyone who has fun playing is a winner. And you know what? You're all winners to me because you're my friend. Now, let's go to our chow chart and say goodbye with a chow. And I think I'm going to choose a waving hand. Ciao!